Hi, this is Magdalena here, and you are watching the Hormones Balance Starter Kit video series. First things first, have you taken the Hormones Balance quiz yet? Do you know which hormones are potentially out of balance for you? If you have not, pause this video and go to hormonesbalance.com slash quiz. Okay, so what's coming up for you? It's not uncommon for us to experience one, two, or even three hormonal balances all at the same time. For example, it's very often that I see women having adrenal fatigue and hypothyroidism. Estrogen dominance also goes hand in hand with high cortisol levels. The same, same thing goes for high insulin and high androgens which results in PCOS. Looking at the symptoms list is the first stop. You might have had your hormones tested by your doctor and be told that it's all normal and it's all looking good. Yet, you can't lose weight, your hair is falling out, you're fatigued, moody, depressed, you're not ovulating, or you just can't get pregnant. There are a few challenges that you need to be aware of when getting your hormones tested. Okay, number one, steroid or sex hormones tested by blood, not saliva, is a problem. Hormones such as cortisol, progesterone, estrogen, DHEA, and testosterone are sex hormones or steroid hormones. When tested in blood, they show total as in bound and unbound values. What you need to know is the unbound, also free or bioavailable part of the hormone as this is what your body receptors can and will use to function properly. It's the unbound hormones that will give you brain good function, healthy metabolism, good weight, glorious hair, healthy sex life, pain-free periods. For the most accurate readings of your hormones, I recommend getting saliva testing. Here's the good news. There are a number of practitioners you can go to to order these tests for, for you, and that includes me. I work with Labrix, which is a leading saliva hormone testing lab. To see what it entails, please go to visit my website on hormonesbalance.com slash hormone testing. When it comes to other hormones like thyroid, luteinizing hormone LH, or follicle stimulating hormone FSH, you can, they can be measured through blood, no problem, because they're peptide hormones, not steroids. So once again, for steroid hormones, we want saliva. For peptides, we want blood. I hope this is not too confusing. All right, problem number two. Adrenal fatigue is not recognized by traditional doctors. You see, one of the common causes of hormonal imbalances is brought upon cortisol. Cortisol is the hormone excreted by adrenal glands. Think of cortisol as the king of all hormones. When the king is sick and slow, the kingdom goes into a state of lethargy and stagnation. When the king goes into rage and overstimulation, like the adrenals, the kingdom lives in a state of fear and confusion. Low or high cortisol levels will have profound impact on the other hormones too. For example, did you know that high levels of cortisol will block progesterone receptors? This means that even if you have normal progesterone levels, you might be feeling fatigued, you can't sleep, or even get pregnant. Sadly, most traditional doctors do not recognize adrenal fatigue as a medical condition. This means you, yet again, would need to take your health into your own hands, and if you feel like adrenal fatigue could be your problem, go for it. If you're not sure, go to hormonesbalance.com quiz and take the quiz to give you an idea where your adrenals are. Number four problem, using outdated and appropriate ranges. If you suspect you have a thyroid issue due to fatigue, weight gain, hair loss, infertility, depression, but you've been told by your doctor that your thyroid is normal, you could be dealing with a diagnosis that's based on outdated ranges. The current range used for TSH, thyroid stimulating hormone, is 0.5 to 4.5. Functional medicine believes that, and I certainly use that, a healthy TSH should be in the range of 1 to 2. Surprisingly, the American Thyroid Association has been advising endocrinologists to narrow the range, but this has fallen on deaf ears for the vast majority of traditional endocrinologists. If you suspect having a slow thyroid, ask the TSH test and be sure the results are within a 1 and 2 range. Even if you are in a range but display clear, slow thyroid symptoms, I recommend insisting on testing for Hashimoto's disease by measuring the TPO, uh, which stands for thyroid peroxidase, or TGB, thyroglobulin antibodies. Hashimoto's is responsible for 90% of people with slow thyroid and, and it's an autoimmune disease which should be taken seriously. Challenge number five, relying on labs alone. A really good physician will determine a diagnosis based on three things. A 
is the current symptoms that you're experiencing, the health of your family and the history of your family. For example, if your mother had breast cancer, it calls for more attention to your estrogen levels than for someone with no such family history. And lastly, lab work. Unfortunately, most doctors today blindly look at lab work alone. One of the biggest problems I have found is that if the person is testing for, say, progesterone levels with saliva for a premenopausal woman in her luteal phase, a healthy reference range would be between 147 to 447. Now, it could be that you would feel good with 150. I would need 430 to feel like myself. If I was at 150, I'll still be within the range, but I may be feeling completely off. As you can see, 127 to 447 is a very wide range. It's a very tricky thing, these hormones, you know. They can be such potent messengers that even the smallest shift in their amounts can make us tip the scale from feeling great to feeling on the floor. Here's the good news. It is totally possible to diagnose your hormone imbalances. Once you know what they are, a plan of action can be laid out. Start off with a quiz on my website and then decide if you want to get tested through saliva or blood. So many of us are feeling out of balance that we start seeing our hormones like an enemy rather than a friend. As the ancient saying goes, if you know the enemy and you know yourself, you need not fear the result of a hundred battles. Come on on this journey with me.